Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we are returning to the Rising Brook for part 3 and if you look at this map now, this is where we finish part 2 on and where I'm circling right now is where we're heading towards today. There she is, just over there guys. Oh, what have we found here? Some sort of a pipe there. Oh, they're a bit, are they all loose? Oh, they are all loose. Oh, there must be some sort of a pressurized pipe thing. No clue, if you have a clue about that, let me know in the comments below. But here we have the Rise and Brook just there guys. Let's have a look at her flowing in just down from over that direction there. But if you look here also, we have a water source coming into the Rising Brook. If you look at the map now guys, this brook is called Stony or Stony Brook, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. And it looks like it actually flows into the Rising Brook. So this could be a possible uh, series part to follow in this brook. However, today we're gonna stay on the Rising Brook over here. She flows just there. And then she flows into there, she goes underneath this bridge, and then she flows into what looks like the uh, rear end of people's gardens here. I would love to have a stream at the bottom of my garden, but as you can clearly see, we can't see any of the brook on this side. There you go, we've got the brook just flowing there nicely. go she's flowing nicely that area oh can I see a squirrel guys we have a squirrel just there oh my god you get that squirrelage. Oh, so cute. <laughs> right, here we come. Just up over here. Whoa, look at the rock of that. That's not mud, guys. Honestly, that is rock there. But just look at this, guys. Then you come down here. Oh, yeah. And then that goes there. And this was once a path, guys, where you used to be able to walk straight across and used to lead you up to that little area there. You carry on going around there and that takes you to Dewan's Pool. So now we're coming back down here and we should be able to pick it up just over there. Oh yes. Water comes in in that area there. Can't see it really because too many of the thorns. And it comes into this area here. And then obviously you've got that drain from Duton Pool. Absolutely brilliant. See, it starts to flow nicely down this area. We slightly lose it a little bit because of these trees here. Right, we get a better view here. Oh, look at that. Well, it sounds like it's going to heavy down here. Oh, it's definitely getting heavy. 
Wow. I've been here before, but it's still beautiful every time you come here. And I actually asked the question when I came here last, what's the purpose of this post here? And I was told that these posts represent boundary lines. And it looks like this might have been a part of a post at one point, I'm not too sure, this one here. But just look at that water flow. Absolutely beautiful. It's starting to get a little bit faster here, guys. So it must mean we're definitely going downhill. And we go over this, uh, what's to be looked like metal iron sort of bridge. And it flows just nicely that way. But we're coming over here. Now we've got some bricks here. Right, let's see if I'll get to the brook. Whoa, wait a second. Look at all these bricks we've got around here. Now, I know at one point the brook was used to power, for, for water power at some point, but we got a brick wall just in that section there. And some bricks underneath there. Wait a sec, look. If I zoom in there, where I'm soaking right now, there is bricks, which is now underneath all of that soil there. And they actually all go all the way along the edge in there. Fascinating. And as I said, I found some bricks here. Bricks there. Bricks all the way around here, to be honest. These trees are really, really spooky here, guys. Alright. Let's see where this brings us. Okay, so we've got the uh, brook going that way. So I'm going to slightly have to go off course in order to pick her up again. Fascinating why there is bricks in this area. Might have to look at the map when I get home on that one, guys. And this is open, so I can pop through here. There she is. There she flows there. It looks like we got some sort of a blockage down there, guys. Alright, let's uh, carry on. That looks very shallow that area or is uh it's situation like looks can or deceiving there. Sounds like it's starting to get a little bit more faster now guys. Oh here she is again. Oh, now this is so calm. You can clearly see the, mo the water moving, yet yeah, we can't hear it. Oh, now it's starting to sound like it's getting faster here. That's a bit worrying there guys, look at that. Little barbed wire just there, in one area. Why? When there's no barbed wire anywhere else. I'm not prepared to walk in that guys, but we see a nice uh, wooden bridge coming up here. Intriguing. Ah, interesting. And there's two of those on this side, they go under here and then they pop out over here see there's that one just in that area and we've got another one just over there and here we have the uh the rising brook just going underneath this bridge here 
So let's see what we can find in this little area here. See, let's see what we can see around here. No clue where I am now, guys, so I'm just going to try and figure out the best course of action. Okay, okay, this is promising. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. Wow, guys, this is cool. Look at that. Look the rise of rope that comes up like that, and it flows in that area. Oh, what have I found here in this area? Looks absolutely beautiful, guys. Just look at this. We got a nice little flow going in this area here, which comes up around this area here. And then look at this. What we found here. I found some bricks here, guys. And was this at one point? A lowering drop something here because look, it looks like a, sort of like a um, sort of it drops down, like a drop hatch in a sense. As you can see, there's grooves there where something would have like got lifted and lowered type thing. And maybe I might be off beat here, but maybe this might have been an area that was powered by this water source here. What does this say here? Danger deep water. There's no water in this area. I really do have Yvonne saying in my ear, be careful. But look there, some sort of a, a drain that leads to the other side of that area. There you go, she's getting heavier, so it must mean we're going down more of a hill now. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Here she flows just down there. Am I going to be able to carry on on this side or do I have to go back on myself? And unfortunately I didn't bring my wellies. If I had my wellies I would have walked across that quite easy. And now we're on the other side of the area we couldn't quite cross. So now we're following the brook here. If I zoom in on that building there, that actually says South Staffordshire Waterworks Company. So that explains why there is like a danger sign saying uh, deep water in this area. Right, where are you going now? Right. Absolutely beautiful this water course is. Intriguing. Right. That building I just told you about is literally parallel with where we are right here. But if I zoom in just down here, we have some water there coming into the Rising Brook. So that makes me question, is that from the uh, waterworks there? Alright, let's see what else we can find. Oh, what is this? This looks awesome. The water coming here, you've got this little bridge which I'm going to carefully walk across. And then you've got the brook that's going that direction. However, we have another, what looks to be some sort of a bridge here. This leads you over to this direction. Okay, trying to see if I keep following this brook in a bit. There she is, just over there. Where does this take me? There's a squirrel there. Hello there, buddy. How you doing? Is that no? Don't want to do anything. I just want to do my nuts. <laughs> oh wow! Right. Well, I'm not too sure what's over in that direction, guys. However, I've just spotted a wall here. Look at this wall here. Just in that section there. And what have we got here? We got a huge pipe. This pipe goes all the way across there, and it goes over the brook. Alright, I'm trying to hear for the brook on my right hand side. I have no idea where I'm coming here. Okay. Aha, here's the brook here. Interesting. It looks like this is some sort of an access road of sorts. 
that literally will take you down here and you could drive up into probably go into that field over there in the brook oh whoa there's an actual arch there I'd like to get over there and see what that's all about and I believe I'm not going to be able to get over that side so but again we'll have to uh, go back on ourselves what's this here Like you guys, that there in that section there, that goes down quite deep. Here we go, we're gonna go back over this little bridge here. Come down there, back over this bridge here. And then we're gonna come over here. Okay, here the brook is close on the left hand side here. We are now on the opposite side for that we've seen this water here. But I want to have a little look at this arch area here. Let's have a look at this. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it looks like we used to have a water course used to come in from here. It used to come in this area and used to shoot into the, uh, the Rising Brook there. So something must have been in this area many years ago. Oh, there you go, you can see the riser brook shooting just up there guys, so we're gonna make our way around here. Intriguing. Don't look like that goes anywhere now guys, but it looks like it might have gone somewhere many years ago we've also got a little bit of metal there we come over here we've got some uh, bricks in the water there and just over there guys it looked like at one point there might have been a bit of a wall here so this area might have had at one point a building or something sounds like it's getting a bit heavier this way Wow. Whoa. There's some metal there in the ground. What was the purpose of that? Was this something before? Because this is a nice looking bridge. Oh my God. I know what this is. This is called Slitting Mill Waterfall. And look at that, the rise of the is coming just nicely down there. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this, look at this stone work there. Look at all the work that's gone into making this bridge. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Right, let's see what the other side of this looks like. Oh my god, that is absolutely awesome. Look at the drop on it though. Right, let's get a better perspective of this. And just look at this, right? You have got these bricks just here. You've got this tree that is on top. You know, it gives you a bit of perspective that something must have been here many years ago. Right, easy does it. Don't know that is wrong. But there you got some more bricks under the ground there. And there we go, we have sitting near water fill. There we go. I like how they use different resources. You've got bricks there, you've got blocks, bricks, fancy stonework. Alright guys, I've just had myself a little bit of a break down there with the waterfall and I must admit 
That waterfall was so relaxing to watch. I, I could have spent hours there, honestly. Let's uh, see what we can see over here of the uh, brook. Whoa. It's almost like, you see that there? You don't ever think that it, uh, just up there, there's a waterfall and you cannot hear it at all from here. It's very eerie sort of feel to it. Close off just down there, guys. Oh, okay, it's just intriguing. This is the Riser Brook, is sort of level with what we're walking on here. But it comes in there, oh god, goes under there, then goes under this bridge here, then flows into this section here. So if you look at the map now guys, where we are stood is at the X, and that water area where the Horizon Brook goes into is where I'm circling currently right now. And unfortunately as you can see I can't get into this bit here, so we're going to carry on keeping the Horizon Brook to our left. I can't hear the brook anymore. Where is it gone? Here is the uh, the closest I can get you to the brook there, guys. Or is that not the brook? I'm not too sure. This area has changed somewhat since the last time I came to this area. Wow. Just look at those steps there. They're actual steps that at one point must have led down into the brook area here. As you can clearly see, there are steps there leading down. So I managed to get to this area and look how beautiful the brook is flowing just there. And as you can clearly see, I can't get any further up here. That is way dangerous. And obviously there's uh, some fence in there. Just there is stopping me uh, going any further that way. So yeah, as you can see, it looks like it was at one point a path here. There you go, goes into that area there. Wow guys, just look at that. Got a little bit of a stream from that one, but look at that. Oh, we got two. We got one duck there, and there is one just there. You can there you go. Look at that. How sweet is that? Ducks feasting on the rising brook. And there she flows into those two tunnels and into a place called Elmore Park, just on the opposite side of this road here. Well guys, today's adventure has been absolutely awesome for me personally and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. This is the end of today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed part three of the Rise and Brook series and it'd be awesome if you come back for part four of it. But anyway guys, unfortunately that's all I can give you for today's adventure. So I want to say thank you all for coming by and always do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. And I'll see you on the next one. Alright, bye easy bye. bye.